Hi friends, here is a printer window and in this we can will create a data frame by reading from excel file to, and to upload or read from the excel file we will use this file browser. Now we can browse to our uh, required location we can browse and let us pick up the student uh, excel file. Let me just move a bit yes yeah. we are searching for uh, student here it is the excel file and the rows will create the data frame and five rows of data will be uh, uploading or printing it inside this text wizard. We will learn how to do this. This is our blank template or with some few widgets and we can see at the first line we are importing the printer. Then here you can see we are importing the file dialog. This is what we will be using to browse in our local system and selecting the file. And here is our pandas. We are importing pandas as we will be creating the data frame. You can learn about all basics of pandas in our series, all the details, how to create data frame, what's a data frame and all. So now you can here is the basic uh, window details title and all dimensions at the top. Then our parent window is my underscore w at line number six we have declared. Then some font size we are will be we are declared that we will be using. And at the top we have a label here. We'll just display create a data frame width of thirty. Then in a grid we are placing it. Then a button. On click of this button, we'll call the file dialog to point to our local file system. That will program it. And here is a text uh, wizard where we'll be displaying around uh, five records from the data frame. What will be created? That's all. Now let's just see whatever how this blank template looks. So here it is. Here it is. Okay, now it is not coded. So the, here our data frame records will be displayed and on click of this the file dialog will open. That part will click and will also create the data frame and display the records here. We will add click event to our button. So from here we will start, we will go to the next line. Here we will command equal to lambda. Now from here lambda will write the uh, function name which will be called once the button is clicked. So we have not declared it right now we are going to declare it here. So we will define the function inside that function we will write the code upload file. Now this is this function will be called once our here the button is clicked here it is. So inside this first we will write our file one variable file and here we will say file dialog file dialog now ask open file name. So what is this? Uh, this we have already called it at the top. You can see here at line number three, we have imported that and ask open file name. So we, it, we will get a string of path, path what we are going to open it. That path will get it. it. If it is ask open file only, then in that case it will be a file object. Okay. So inside that, let's just define the file type file types see whatever the file types will use because by default those file types will be uh, used so by default it will open so inside that we are creating a list here and inside that again we'll say otherwise we'll go to the next line here here we are saying what you will say is excel file now here now we are saying dot xlsx if you want csv file you can mention here or you can give multiple uh, combinations multiple files so those 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 files only will be visible and will be selectable so xls extension that is our excel file whatever we will, we will be using now that will be it will point so now again back here now we'll create the data frame df is my data frame now pd is the pandas pandas that, that that we have already imported at the line number four you see here it is pandas as pd so that we are using it here what is a data frame how these data frames are created from a database and all we have already discussed that and all the links to the uh, the playlist is will be i'll put it in the comments uh, in the description so you can uh, get the, all the details now we are just creating it and we are using read excel now read excel now we'll say file. Now the file is the above line number 22. We have just created that, that what the uh, the path it holds. Now in that also we'll mention index column. Index 
underscore call equal to because here one column is id is there that we are telling you use that as a index column now that's all the data frame is created but what about where how you will display it let's move up a bit how we'll display it to display we'll say t1 t1 is our text wizard we have created at the top line number 18 you can see here it is text wizard is there it is there so this text sorry this text wizard is here and this text wizard will display the our data frame but this is around 40 44 rows of data is there so we will not display all the thing a sample of it or we'll say insert insert tk end so tk end and how up to the end so what is that is df or data frame dot head head means first top five rows suppose you want two rows then you can give a by default it is five you can write two here so it will be two let it be five rows that's all so now it will be displayed in short we have inserted added to our uh, text wizard now let's just see this how this works up to this so there is no error fine now read excel now i am clicking so this file dialog is opened by default it is pointing i can browse to any other location let me go here is my student excel file i am i am uh, let me move it up here it is okay i am opening the student excel file now the data frame is created and five records are displayed here that's all this is how we can integrate a kinter kinter is an application which in, is an interface by which i can point to a file file or anything i can do it's kinter is used as a windows application or a interface and i can create a data frame like this and uh, it's a sample this is a five records of samples are displayed i can manage a lot of other things in the data frame also that's all friends uh, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we upload new new videos we frequently do that also this was a question asked so if you also have any question doubt or suggestions please use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching